What's up guys? So this week I wanted to start out the video by showing you guys the supplements that I take daily. I'll start over here. Um, every day Matt and I do eat one Brazil nut and you're supposed to have your daily amount of selenium which helps with basically your hormone function and your thyroid hormone specifically as far as I know. I also take a liquid B12 complex. Um, it's just a little drop. You hold it in your mouth for about 30 seconds and it's supposed to be one of the best um, available forms of B12. So I do recommend that everybody take a B12 supplement. We also take turmeric. Turmeric is supposed to have a ton of benefits helping to prevent cancer as well as helping to keep your joints nice and healthy. So we take that every day. A vegan iron supplement. This is my anxiety medicine that I take. I no longer take a prescription. It's awesome. I just can't tell you guys enough how much I love it. And then as far as like workout supplements go. So I try not to take too much pre-workout, but these are the two that I have right now. Legion Pulse is one of my favorite pre-workouts ever. It is pretty strong. They don't have a bunch of the weird additives and the proprietary blend. So definitely something to check out. I really, really recommend this pre-workout. I've taken it for years. And then I also picked this one up at the store a couple weeks ago and it's, I've never heard of the brand. Naturally sweetened, sucralose free, wild berry, sweeteners or natural berry flavors, stevia, citric acid, silicon dioxide, and beetroot powder. So they don't even use an artificial coloring. The, the actual pre-workout effect of this is pretty good. Uh, Matt did take it and said it made him feel kind of weird, but I didn't experience any of that. So these two, uh, of these two, this one is by far my favorite. This was just something that I picked up randomly. I also take creatine five grams every day, and I have for about two years now. Creatine is one of the most tested and proven supplements to work and to help with muscle building over time. So something, if you're gonna be lifting and you want to build muscle, you have to take creatine. And then I also take L-leucine, which is an amino acid that is important for muscle recovery and protein synthesis, and it is something that could possibly be lacking in a vegan diet. It also, again, helps with muscle recovery, so even if you're not vegan or vegetarian, it might be something that could be beneficial for you. Those are my supplements that I take every day, and that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. I didn't take a picture yet. Here it comes. There it is. I don't do that one anymore. More. Flex. Pull it out. Just Push it, it in. Out. I don't know. Spread it. Spread the cheeks. At least I'll do that. Don't do this. I think the camera broke. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Look at these little guys. Where are you going? There's so many of them. I totally want one of these. <laughs> What's up, guys? Excuse the uh, lighting here. But we're on our way to his office for about an hour and then we're going to go climbing. So I'm going to show you guys our climbing workout today. Uh, we're back on a somewhat training program. I say somewhat because I'm going to kind of pick and choose workouts to do. Um, so things that are like circuit training that include burpees I don't really want to do. Things that make you run a mile I don't really want to do. So we're going to do that. I'm going to show you guys the workout. Um, this week is going well. Uh, I'm, I was sick. I don't think I've even told you guys. I was sick all last week, like terribly sick, awfully sick. That's another way to describe it. You were that sick. I was so sick. I felt awful. You had allergies, which caused a couple other things. I almost told you to take me to the ER. Because <laughs> I was. If you had felt the way that I felt, I would have ignored it and played video games. Bull crap! You would have been moping around. Um. Anyway, I was I was just sick all week, so I'm feeling a lot better this week. It was um, it started with allergies, and then I think it like turned into something, but it was just so severe. So I had to take some allergy medicine, a decongestant. I still have a little bit of congestion, as you could tell, 
but I was able to work out today and yesterday. I didn't work out pretty much all last week. I think I did a little bit of a workout on Friday. Um, yeah, so things are going well. Um, my macros were completely off this weekend. My brother was in town. We went and ate a lot, but it happened. Moving on. It's continuing on as normal. Any, any feedback? To that, no. I ate just the right amount. Always. You always eat the right amount. But yeah, um, so next time you see us, we are going to be in the rock gym working on some bouldering, some fingerboard training, and some push ups and pull ups and planks. So, see y'all there. I'm at Matt's office this morning, and I thought I would finish out with um, this vlog with a full day of eating for you guys. Just real quick, I'm going to show y'all just snippets. I'm going to start off with some protein sludge, 
and oatmeal and I will let you guys know on the screen what I'm eating and yeah that's it out this video. I think your thumb might be on one of the speakers. Speakers are up here. Where? Oh. That's going to conclude this week's series update. I hope you guys are enjoying them. I always ask thumbs up if you did. If you made it this far, hit that thumbs up just to let me know that you made it this far. This is going to finish out my food for today and a little bit of a little sprinkling of salt to make it extra sweet. And that's going to be it. So leave me some comments below. Let's start a conversation in the comment section. And I will see you all in the next video. The Merry Christmas. Comment section's over here. Where is it? Below. Down here. Yep. Oh, those are your feet. Bye. Well, see you later.